Well, hello, everybody. Hi. It's Brad. And I'm Krista. The Big Family Homestead. <laughs> and today's a good day. You don't want to know why? Well, there's a couple reasons why it's a good day. It's egg roll day. It is egg roll day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, Mama, well, actually. No, it, this was you, actually. No, this was not me. It wasn't. No, it was not. It's not your fault. Today's our, our daughter Hope's oh, yeah. birthday. It is our daughter Hope's she birthday. She requested stir fry mm -hmm. and egg rolls. Yes, she did. For her dinner. She is so funny. She loves a lot of certain things and... Stir fry is one of those things because she feels like she's eating really healthy when it's when it's really not. Well, and, the stir fry is the stir fry when you make it at home. It depending on your ingredients is very healthy. Yeah, this so. this the egg rolls not so much. No, I mean okay if you air fry them, which, which we you have, could, we have, then and they're okay, then they're good. But they're just not the same. They have to be deep fried. So we deep fry them. And another cool thing. This I'll is hang my head in shame. No. No, I'm just teasing. I'm another just cool. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Good. Uh, another cool thing about today is we're going to be doing these with a lot of freeze dried ingredients. Mm -hmm. Not all of them. No. But a lot of our Thrive Life freeze dried ingredients. There's so many of you out there who love your Thrive Life, but I bet you nobody's made egg rolls out I of their Thrive I can't imagine. Life. No, I can't imagine that that happens. And so, if you don't know, freeze-dried is different than dehydrated food. Yep. It's as fresh, 25 years, if you don't open the can, you open mm -hmm. the can up, it's good as, you know, it was just picked, yeah. plucked, yeah. packed. Right, and it'll la once you open it, mo majority of the ingredients will last a year on the shelf in your pantry they don't have to be refrigerated. There's only a couple of items that you need to use within a certain time, uh, just a few weeks, like the ham and the turkey, uh, something dealing with the fat in those, I'm not exactly sure. But uh, these last so long. I love it. Well, and, and, and furthermore, you can just be like a mad scientist when it comes to egg rolls mm -hmm. because... Whatever you want to put in it. Like last time we made egg rolls, we even made some Mexican style yep. egg rolls. We had rice, we had uh, cheddar, and mm -hmm. we had uh, some seasoned taco beef. So yeah, some taco meat. Yep. That was delicious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was really good. All right, Mama. Here, I'm going to put up the recipe and so. you get down on it. Well, no, this doesn't really matter. This, you're doing don't this worry sauce. about the recipe first. I decided Whoops. pretty much last second that instead of using bottled teriyaki, that I would show you guys how to make real, not real teriyaki, uh, teriyaki from scratch, teriyaki sauce from scratch. Right. And it's just a few simple ingredients that uh, you may have in your refrigerator or your pantry. Um, we, and I'm gonna start with soy sauce. We don't use soy sauce, we use liquid aminos. Um, I love the flavor of it, it tastes so much, I mean it's made from, Soybeans, but it's not like your traditional soy um, soy sauce. So I really, really like this. Um, so we're going to start by making our teriyaki sauce. It's not healthy, but it's healthier. It's healthier because it doesn't have MSG in it. And it's got aminos. Right. Amino acids. Right. So I'm going to start with one cup of water. And by the way, since we don't have this portion of the recipe on uh, the screen, just pause it and write it down. Yeah, right. So then we're going to use a quarter cup of liquid aminos. Which is like soy. You could use right. soy sauce if you didn't have right. this. And then we need five tablespoons of brown sugar. You can use a sugar alternative if you'd like. Um, this is just, this is what we're going to use. It's traditional. Yeah. And for those of you who are new, you may wonder, why am I looking at the floor all the time over here? It must look bizarre. <laughs> the computer's right here. <laughs> yeah, he's looking at the computer. I'm the nerd. She's, yeah. She's the, she's the cook. Hands, yeah. The chef, the, the, the everything awesome. <laughs> um, next, we need a tablespoon of honey, and I have yummy, delicious raw honey here that we have. Locally and sourced. Locally sourced, and it is, it is crystallized, which makes it really easy to... Um, Put Scoop into in. the pan, and I'm going to refrain from using my finger oh, because then I'll just have that's honey what all happen. over my hands. Tell them the truth. I 
That's normally what would happen. It's normally what would happen. I would use the, after I, would, after I touch my face and touch my hair, I would touch that honey. Well, not that part. No. <laughs> but you would use your finger to get it. I would use honey. my finger, yeah. <laughs> and then I'd lick my finger. All right, we need a um, half a teaspoon of ground ginger. Ginger is a huge flavor in oriental cooking. They use tons of it. And then a quarter teaspoon, did I say a quarter teaspoon of ginger? I meant a half a teaspoon of ginger. Quarter teaspoon of garlic. Maybe you, when you're done with that, you should re-go over the rest. I can do that. That way. I can do that. So now we're going to put this on to heat through. Just to melt the sugar. We want to melt the sugar, and it's going to take just about a minute. What? That can, you better move that can. It gets hot. It's good. We're good. It gets hot. I know. I'm telling you. This won't be on long. This should be an interesting live stream if it goes up in flames. <laughs> Whoosh. <laughs> That's exciting. No. I like this ship. No. It's exciting. So we're going to heat this through. Like I said, it's going to take about a minute for it to heat through um, and dissolve the, the sugar and the honey. Ha, <laughs> you bet. Yeah, I am blushing a little bit, am I? <laughs> That's funny. No, it's been the, the last week we've been out in the sun. Oh. My, <laughs> as she disregards my my uh, adoration. Yep. So, the Happy Meat Farm Rios. Hello, hello to Jesus is Lord Joanna. Good good afternoon to Pepper Leah, Matthew Johnson, Beth Miller, and Yvette. All right. So you're just basically melting the stuff. Just melting this stuff. Just heating this up because I want it to be hot when I add our cornstarch to it. And if you don't use cornstarch, you can use arrowroot flour. It's whatever thickener you wanna use. Um, I don't have arrowroot, and I probably should get some because it's better for you than cornstarch. So For the actual sauce? For the sauce. Because that's, that's funny, I'm thinking of the way that we have the bottled it's, teriyaki, that's, and it's not. That's thinner, I it's actually not. have yeah, it's a pretty bottled. Thin. It's pretty thin. Um, but this, the recipe calls for it to be thickened. Okay. So. Says who? The recipe. Who's the recipe? Let me it's see It's from recipe. all, it's from all recipes. All recipes. It's we, not mine. Yeah, that's why I was wondering. I, I told you it was last second. I thought it would be better to, you know, show you guys how to make teriyaki from scratch as opposed to using it from a bottle, which there's nothing wrong with that, but I like to have stuff without MSG. I, yeah. I don't like, you know, um, serving, I don't like our family eating MSG. Well, and so since we're borrowing this from all recipes, well, yeah. we should probably give credit. <laughs> so sure. the Goatberry Kitchen is what it says. Where? Oh, funny. Goatberry Kitchen. Cute. Boom. Right there. Whoops. Wrong way. Goatberry Kitchen. Thank you for your contribution to our live stream cooking. Today. Yes. <laughs> yeah. um, okay, so now to make, to thicken um, a sauce or anything like that using cornstarch, you can't just put the powdered cornstarch in there. You can if you start from the beginning, but we're gonna make a, it's called a slurry. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna add, we have two tablespoons of cornstarch and a quarter cup of water, and we're gonna mix those together I thought a slurry was when you have too many beers and you, uh, okay. you're trying to communicate something important. <laughs> That's slurring your speech, slurry. not slurry. Oh, slurry. Oh, my heavens. So we're just going to mix this together. Now, to thicken something, um, you, you want to use a hot liquid and a cold thickener. So you're going to want to make sure that this is cold water, not hot water, because it always seems to work better when you do the hot and the cold. Slurry. <laughs> oh, you know, oh, yeah, slurry. Play about it. <laughs> you're so funny. Oh. All right, this is boiling now. So we're going to go ahead and add our slurry. And if you keep it mixing, that's good, because if you stop mixing it, all the cornstarch will fall to the bottom, uh -huh. which is so strange to me. That smells good. Well, it's sugar and soy. Can't, can't go, can't wrong, go there. wrong there. Salt and sugar. Yeah. All right. Now this is gonna simmer for about five minutes. 
till it thickens up. And I'll move this to this smaller burner over there. Oh, oh you're good. No, I'm the best. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you want to be? Oh, put that here. Put please. that there. Yeah. Can it still be toasty. Nope. Turn it this way. All right. Thank you. No, it's fine. Uh, Stop it! Turn. Stop it! <laughs> All right. I'm just gonna turn that on low. I can smell the ginger. Can you smell it? Oh, I can smell it. it smells good. Yeah. I'm just gonna put this on a low temperature just to let that go for a little bit. So you're making thickens. a gravy? Making gravy, teriyaki gravy. Teriyaki gravy. Teriyaki gravy. All right. No touch. Don't touch it. Yeah. It was funny because as we were getting ready for the live stream, I kept asking what I could do. And she's like, no, I'm gonna do that. And I was, well, but, but I can do that. No, I'm gonna do that. So my job is to stand over here and press the buttons. Yeah. And your buttons. And my buttons. Yeah, pretty much. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. Ironically, I do most of the cooking at home. He does. <laughs> Generally, he does. So when we get to do these, I get to do all the cooking. I'll just, so. don't touch, no touchy. Don't touch. No touchy. I have to put my hair up. It's warm in here. I know why. <laughs> so I'm standing in front of the stove. <laughs> Something else that's hot. <laughs> oh boy can't live with them can't bury them <laughs> <laughs> all right so um okay we're gonna just look at our ingredients now a lot of folks who do preparedness stuff they grow their own cabbage and so it's uh just now spring so we don't have any cabbage so we're cheating we're cheating so yeah, yeah. some fresh some thrive life exactly Ooh, UPS is here. Yep. Yep. Don't touch. Don't touchy. All right. You can stop sneaking around, kid. It's really okay. It's Grace. Children. She, she's slinking around the house. So I got one bag of the Shred Angel hair coleslaw with no purple cabbage in it. We don't want the purple stuff in there. It tastes weird. It tastes weird. Uh, I do have a question. Yeah. Should you be probably rehydrating the pork? I'm getting ready to do that. I'm just asking. I'm doing that. Asking out loud. So um, I also have a can of, of beef, diced, diced beef here, too. I didn't know what we wanted to do. Let's go with the pork. Yeah. Yeah. So we have some pork sausage crumbles. So they're sausage Freeze crumbles. Freeze-dried. Freeze-dried. And they look like little doggy kibble. I'll be honest with you. They taste great, <laughs> But they though. taste really good. So we're going to put some of these into our bowl. About yeah, and that's Yay. another thing about this. Here, now I can put the recipe up. Yes. See? Because it's whatever the heck you want to put in it. Yep. If you don't like carrots, don't put, don't carrots, put carrots in, in there. It. If you don't like beef, use chicken. Right, exactly. Or if you're a vegetarian... Don't use meat at all. Yeah. I mean, it's really, honestly, that's the beauty part of egg rolls. It doesn't have to be exactly these sliced green onions and these sliced celery. Because I've watched tons of videos on how to make authentic egg rolls. doesn't have to be that no. way. No. Not I've all. even thought, because we did the Mexican style ones uh, a while back. Mm -hmm. But I've also thought of doing an Italian styled one. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Spaghetti noodles, believe mm -hmm. it or not. Yep. Spaghetti noodles, a little totally. sauce, some uh, mozzarella cheese. Mm -hmm. What there you we got, go. Grace? Just. Oh. Yeah, that's Hope. one of Hope's birthday presents. Ooh, I'm going to go see. You're on your own, Mom. <laughs> I hate it when he does that. I'm right here. Still don't like it when you leave. I'll never leave. That's good. Hmm. What is this from? What is this? It's for Hope. It's those, her birthday today. Those books I got. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're books. Yeah. Go on downstairs, Brutus. Great. Brutus now has free reign. Brutus is our St. Bernard dog, and he is, oh, he is a pill, let me tell you. Well, he just got done. It was the... And so he's he's out of sorts right now. He's trying to find himself again. <laughs> I guess that's the way to put it, huh? Yeah, totally. Yeah. Okie dokie. So I've got our um, I'm half the man sausage. I used to be. 
rehydrating. And when you're using freeze dried uh, meats, I really like to use hot boiling water and that I turned our tea kettle on shortly before we started. So it's really hot. Um, I like to do that because um, I think it rehydrates better than cold water. It does. Yeah. For whatever reason, the meats, the hot water does better, mm -hmm. but the vegetables and fruit do better seems cold do water. better with cold. That's plenty of carrot, don't you think? Ooh, Steve Ganang has a solid, sorry, yes. Oh, honey? yeah. Okay. Um, solid idea. Smoked pulled pork egg roll. Yes. Yes, definitely. Little, he, he makes his own spices mm -hmm. and stuff, but, um, you know, if you didn't, then Sweet Baby Ray's. Yeah, that, that would another way to go. Oh, I love yeah. Sweet Baby Ray's. Hola to Brooklyn Girl in Texas. Hello, Mars, hola. Mars says, uh, you remind me of my cousin Mike. I hope he's not a jerk. <laughs> Funny. Let me kick this up a little bit. What you need, baby? Beeswax. Nothing. It's all about the beeswax. That's right. Okay, now we've got some green onions. I need another bowl. And you can make them however you want. I know. Now, one thing, though, about some of the Thrive Life ingredients, one thing that's really nice is some of them you don't really need to rehydrate because the moisture in the food that you're right. making right. hydrates it enough. So I'm not like going to do green that. Onions. Green onions, we're just going to put in there straight Yep. like that. Yep. And same thing with the onions. Right. Regular onions. I, I was I brought out the asparagus, hoping that I could throw some of that in there, but I'm thinking that's not gonna happen. Some regular onions. Dan Schneider says, Bet you can't beat the egg rolls my wife makes. Well, uh, that's a double Dan. dog there. Well, Dan. Why don't you bring some over and we'll uh we'll see. Yeah. All right, give this a mix. How are you gonna season it? Uh just with the brags. Brags. Yeah. That's what we usually bit. do. Just a little bit. You don't have to you don't have to do any kind of seasoning with this if you don't want. But salt helps. Salt does help a bit, just a bit. Yeah, you don't want to overdo it. No. We there? Looks squishy. Yeah, we're there. Okay. All right. I'm gonna strain this water off. Yummy. Mm, yummy. Mm. Linda L R B I'm going to leave the chat because I can't see with that list there. Oh. That's a bummer. See I'm sorry. Oh, I was over here. Okay. Plan with Jen. Sorry, I'm late. Not a problem. We do egg roll in a bowl for keto. That's an interesting thing to do. Hey, Kathia from France is here. Hello, Kathia. All right, throw that in there. Oh, you, okay. What? I thought we were going to teriyaki that. I'm going to teriyaki. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right, I forgot. Do you want to scoop some? I can. You don't have to. Remember, you can make it however you want. That's right. Careful, this is going to be hot. It, no, it's not hot. Hands of steel. No. It's just not hot. It's warm, but it's not melt my skin off hot. Oh, Jen has a good idea. What? We take a brat, like a bratwurst. Ooh, yum. Remove the casing, mm -hmm. crumble it into sausage, and add egg yep. roll bowl. Yeah, I yum. saw when we were when we were looking for the recipe for the teriyaki, somebody was making um, uh, uh, Reuben egg mm -hmm. rolls, corned beef, yep. Swiss, and sauerkraut. Go. Oh, my gosh, that sounds like a good idea. There. Close enough. Yeah. Oop, there you go. And it's it's that's your There. Yeah, it's like um Perfect. Perfect. It smells good. All right, look at that. There you go. Let's see it. Oh, that looks so good. All right, so I'm going to pour a little bit on here. Not a ton. Cuz it's going to yeah, mix it together. Right. Hi, Brutus. What you looking for, bro? You want to food. come say hi? I want food. Come here. You guys, oh, no, he's taking things out with his tail. Come here, buddy. Come here. Sit. Oh, Sit. Brutus. Good boy. I know you smell sausage. It's so good, isn't it? 
It's so good. Say hi to everybody. Can you say hi to everybody? Okay. Go on. Go lay down. Go lay down. He's like, wait a minute. Go on. I thought I was getting a treat. Play on Jen. Yeah, Ruben's Ruben idea. Down. Because the, the sauerkraut's perfect for that. Good boy. You yes. can even put a little mustard on there mm -hmm. if you wanted. Just a little bit. Yep. Look at that. You want to taste? That was yummy. Man. Yes. You may. Guinea pig. It's delightful. <laughs> that is delightful. All right. You should try it. It's good. But I never taste food. I know you don't. She doesn't. Mm, that is good. I don't know. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to pour this in here. Okay. And then a little bit of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. Yep. That's awesome. You know, the reason we have, I mean, where we live, there is an okay Chinese place here, which is recent, uh, only within the last couple of months. It's okay. But um, we really like to figure out how to make our own and um, make okay. it the way T we like tell, it. Tell them the whole truth, Mom. We don't we have live, good food here. No, the restaurants here are horribly bland. I was trying bland. to be politically correct about it. They're horribly bland, and a lot of it's not authentic. Right. And I know a lot of people, they just they just get used to it. That's mm -hmm. how they're, they're, you know, fish fries here are great. Yes, fish, fish fries, fries are, are great. great. Fish boils, not so much. That's weird. That's but um, Gross. It's just that we're also in the North Woods, mm -hmm. so there's not a lot of options. Right. So if you want it, you got to learn how to make it. Right, or drive three and a half hours to get it, and we're not going to do that. And and that is honestly the truth. So it has, it, there's benefits to living out in the middle of nowhere, and there's also challenges. Let's see. I just had a a move this out of the way. A mom moment. Here, baby. I look out the windows, I'm washing my hands, and I see our son sitting in his treehouse. I love that. Oh, yeah. We just love finished that. building that. Yep. They don't need this. Okie dokie. Now, egg rolls. There are many different kinds, and there's even the dreaded vegan kind. This Those we were bought by accident. Violence. These. We bought these by accident, and um, we'll have to use them for something because, yeah. But these are the kind we have. They're the egg roll. These are vegan without egg. They're almost the same. They're almost the same. Yeah, th these ones crisp up a lot better. Yeah. So these are super easy to put together. Um, it's funny. These are Asian egg rolls, but they're made in the United States. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think it matters. No, it doesn't. The, the key is keeping these dry, or keeping these from drying out. I'm sorry, I should say. Keeping them from drying out. Yeah. So uh, keep them in the plastic package. Unless you're making your unless own. You're, well, in, unless you're making your own, which, whew, good luck. Well, you can. You can. But, but it's you're going to have to have a, a level of patience that most humans don't possess. Exactly. All right, this one tore, so I'm just gonna kind of fold that one in. Now, I hold them at an angle, or diagonally, I should say, not at an angle. And make sure your surface is dry. And you're going to take a bit of cabbage, about like that, um, cabbage mix, not just cabbage. And we're gonna fold over the bottom corner, the one that's closest to you, tuck it in, and, you know, Try not to poke the carrot sticks through the through the uh, paper there. Uh, have a bit of water, just a bowl of water, and you're going to just kind of paint the edges. Yeah. And without the Brutus hair. I did this wrong, didn't I? Yeah. It's okay. It'll still work. Fold in the corners. I'm going to fold in the corners. It'll still work. Baby. Oh, no, this is right. This is right. Now you roll. Now you roll. Now you got to wet, wet these edges too and here so that they stick. See? It's still going to be delicious and there. yummy food. Yes. It will be awesome. It always takes like two or three tries to, to get remember. it to get it right. <laughs> um, so yeah. Another cookie sheet. Now what's cool too 
is that once you've done this, you could freeze these. You could freeze these. You could actually even uh, partially free, uh, fry them, let them cool, and then freeze them. Yep. So here, I'll try that Whatever again. level of doneness you want, but this, right. this would be great because that way you can just throw them right into the fryer mm -hmm. or you could air fry them, folks. Yeah. There's no reason you have to do the oil except for the fact that we just like the taste better. We, like, we prefer it, yeah. Okay. Okay. Bit of cabbage. Try and keep those match sticks or those carrot sticks from poking through. Poking through. Well, a lot of folks will uh, blanch their vegetables. Mm -hmm. We don't. No. Nope. We like them nice and crispy. Mm -hmm. And they're when they're done, they're cooked perfectly yeah but they're not just a soggy mess right should i, should I make these this is perfect i should make them. you should you should make those i should make them. you should make them right now look out brutus you're in the wrong spot move it bro move dude all right we have our air fryer off camera over here on a on a separate table you'll probably be able to hear it yeah Two, one. there they go yeah Okay, so how many are you gonna make? Well, I'm gonna make the whole package. Can I, um, uh, I need a tongs. You need to tongs? Because they don't take long. There we go. Thank you, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Yes. Playing with Jen says, by the way, speaking of freezing, Krista's pizza dough balls freeze great. We remove one in the morning and let it defrost and rise during the day, and then my teenage son makes his calzone or pizza for Friday night. That's awesome. I love awesome. calzone. Love calzones. We've not made them for a while. And, yeah, you know what? Here's a little secret what we do with our lasagnas is, um, or I do. Yeah. Because I make, I make the lasagna, and it's something that's requested a lot. And the secret is this. One day, we ran out of ricotta cheese. Mm-hmm. I used cottage cheese mixed with mozzarella and a little bit of Parmesan yep. to stretch it. And whoa, it Huge kept difference. it nice and moist, mm -hmm. not soggy. You know how it can get runny? Yep. Man, it was good. Yeah. This is the only part I don't like about this is my hands are always dirty. I don't like that. I don't like stuff on my hands either. No. I think he he uh, he wore off on me on that. I didn't ever use to mind. Oops. Let me get a napkin. Soak up some of that oil. Because these are pretty much done. Yeah, it doesn't take long. You know, because it's just raw veggies. Your meat's already cooked. If you were using raw meat, I would suggest cooking it first. And then putting it in there. I wouldn't. Re I wouldn't recommend using raw meat in in egg rolls because they don't take very long to fry. Goodness, be careful. Oh, I'm fine. It flopped over. That looks yummy. That looks delightful. I have seen. There's a there's a channel a YouTube channel. Um, Aaron and Claire. She loves that. I love their channel. He they're so funny together. They're Korean, but I've seen them make um, chicken, like fried chicken for like orange chicken or something like that. Look at those. How about that? Now, Yum. you have to resist the urge. Because you melt don't your face. Don't do it. Right. Don't bite them yet. No, don't do it. Just wait. Right. So Aaron well, and Claire. Aaron and Claire, he double fries his chicken. So he takes it, he fries it, and then takes it out, lets it cool for a few minutes, and then fries it again. It makes it super crispy. So, um, I I haven't tried that yet, but that will happen soon, I'm sure. Mars, uh, happy treehouse moment or sad? Oh, they're all happy. It's, oh no no, oh. happy treehouse moment because he's he's just he's out there, he's just, it. He's out there reading. Yeah, he's in there reading. And, yeah. Uh, and it just it just fills my heart with joy to see him out there, you know, enjoying yeah, we just finished the that beautiful up. day. 
Well, and and he, um, it's funny because it's just barely big enough for it to fit a his uh, tent. His tent. Mm -hmm. And he slept out there the other night. Yeah. And I was surprised that he did because um, he knows that there are bear in the mm -hmm. bear. There's in the bear area. in the area. Yep. And I just said, well, you know, let's let's rig a way that they can't climb mm -hmm. up. Yep. If they were to 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 find you, and he's mm -hmm. like, "Oh, this is not a problem," and we did it, and it was great. Yeah, he he yeah, not a problem. The only thing that woke him up was the the trash man came at five thirty in the morning. Yeah, it was pretty funny. You got to try one of those stuff with cheese. Oh yeah. Oh, so like a mozzarella stick. You want to try one? Sure. We'll get some cheese. We got cheese. We got loads hey, of this cheese. Is, this is Wisconsin. We got cheese. We got cheese. Some kind. Um. Mozzarella. Sure. For that. Oh, we have cheese sticks. Just open up the cheese sticks. Okay. Because then we'll just stick a cheese stick in there and roll it up. And then you got your mozzarella sticks. Ha ha ha. Here's some scissors. All right. Let's. We got scissors coming out of our ears. Oh, it pulls apart. It's even better. Mm hmm. Okay. Which one you want to? Oh, no. Line that it? one came apart. Should we put cabbage in it? Let's put the whole thing in there. It'll still be yummy. What do you mean the whole thing in there? So should we put stuff in here and then put the cheese in there or no? No, I'm thinking we just throw some of this down on there. What do you think? What, what, do you, what are you doing? No, the, it won't. Okay. No, you want it. You don't want it to melt apart. You want it to stay contained. Oh, yeah, put some of that in there. That's what uh, I was well, wondering. I was confused as to what you were wanting to do. That's what I was wondering. Should we put it with cheese in there? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, Good call, gosh. Old Glory Farm. All right, it's time. I think this has waited long enough. <laughs> or should we get I, that my in hand, there first? I, let me get this in there first. Or you can put it in there. I'm actually a little bit paranoid about the fryer. I I like to do most of the frying just because I'm... I'm willing to sit there and hold it and be careful. Not that your mom's not no, careful. No, I just walk away. <laughs> She'll put the top on it, and then it's, I don't know. I'm paranoid about it. Yeah, he is. She, should we do double wrapper? Do you think it's going to come out? Sure, we'll do I'm double wrapper. questioning. Double wrapper. Double wrapper. I'm part Polish, and for fast pierogies, we use egg roll wrappers. Oh, nice yeah. Idea. I love pierogies. One of these days, I'll learn how to make them. Yeah. I know it's pretty easy. We had a friend in Sarasota that um, made them. They were Polish, and she made them from scratch for us. It was a treat. Oh, it was such a treat. Wasn't that on Easter morning or something? Yeah. After Actually, church? Actually, too, um, I remember when I was growing up, my family uh, was part of a church in, in Lakeland, Florida, that um, we sponsored a Cambodian refugee family mm -hmm. to come to the States. And there were a lot of funny, funny stories because yeah. these people had never seen things like a supermarket. Or, and I, rem I remember my, my mom taking this woman to the supermarket and showing her this is how life works. You know, this is how you do this. And she saw a turkey, and she was shocked out of her mind. She's like, that is the biggest turkey in the entire world. Yeah. Or a chicken. Chicken. She chicken. thought it was a big chicken. But um, they would give uh, every year, there were great, I mean, every year until I left home. Wow. They would give a gigantic mound of egg rolls every year. They'd come and... Gosh. That's Just funny. I remember you. hearing your mom tell stories about them. Yep. Saying in sauce. Yep. Well. All right. Go for it. it smells like food. Mm hmm Hear that crunch? Mm. mm. Yum. Is it good? <laughs> yeah. Ridiculously good. Crunch. Mm-hmm. Ah, dripping. Oh, man, that is good. Mm-hmm. Simple, simple stuff. I mean, you don't have to go to an Asian market to get, Yum. you know, to get ingredients for egg rolls. I mean, we got these egg rolls at Walmart. Mm. You know, they have them there. You can make them from scratch. They're just very time consuming. Um, not really. No, to make the egg roll wrappers. Oh. 
to make the wrappers. It's very time consuming. Um, and so I think when, you know, you can't buy egg roll wrappers anymore, I'll probably figure out how to make them. <laughs> so, yeah, when the zombies come, we're having, mm -hmm. egg, we're having Asian takeout. Mm -hmm. Is that done? No. Oh, looks done to me. Well, the outside, you got to leave it go a little bit. Because it's double wrapped, too. Right. Yeah. That is awesome. Yum. Well, we got to wait to show them the cheese. Mm-hmm. So, mm -hmm. I'll talk, then you bite. You talk, then I'll bite. Okay. So The pork in there is really good. I know, and it's so nice. Mm -hmm. It's just, you throw it in there and Throw you're it done. in there, done. Let's see. Yeah. Um, I'm exciting to hear how it tastes. Yeah, that's just a, it's a regular old. I love these cheese sticks. Cheese stick. Mm-hmm. They're really good. And actually, what we use with these cheese sticks is um, we chop these up and um, we use these for pizza. Um, the thing with um, pizza mm -hmm. is you don't, you can use already shredded, but the problem is, is it's not going to melt properly because there's an anti-caking agent in there. Mm -hmm. You want to shred your own cheese from a block or whatever. I love the flavor of this. That's why we use this and we use regular mozzarella. Low moisture is important. Low moisture is important. Mm -hmm. But these just have a really good flavor. And these, of course, are from Wisconsin. Are they really? Yeah. Yeah. We used to get those in Florida. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Where are these from? A little more costly, but they were very good. Yeah, they, they do cost a little bit more, but they're really, really tasty. Feast your eyeballs, folks. Yeah, that one's a little bit bigger because of the length of the cheese stick. I'll let it sit right let here get a just, knife. To, just to tempt you. Let's see. We'll cut that one open. Well, I guess you know what we're having for dinner tonight. <laughs> Egg roll <laughs> in a bowl. Yummy. You know I mean? mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. So let's see. Yum. If you guys don't mind, hit that thumbs up, please. Mm -hmm. It does help us with uh, mm -hmm. YouTube. These are so good. Manicotti. This is the best we've made. And I know, honestly, they really are. these are just as good than, if not better, I think, than the restaurant ones. Mm -hmm. I really, I mean, restaurant style ones are good. These, there's just something different about them. They're fresh. They're, They're not, light. And they are light. They're not so mm -hmm. heavy. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So. Mm -hmm. We'll see what Dan um, Schneider's lovely bride can mm -hmm. bring to the A game. Right. No kidding. It's a double dog dare. <laughs> That's going to be too hot to eat. Mm hmm. Cut it open. Cut it open mm -hmm. a little bit. Mm hmm. Well, I think maybe let's take it off here. Yeah. In case that cheese goes. Oh, that crunch just kind of flew nope. up. It was not done. Oh, man. Not done. But looks good, but. Nope, it's not. You're right. I'm sorry. No. My fault. We should have okay. shredded it apart. Well, there's still time. Mm-hmm. Mm. But we can try it. Mm-hmm. So I think that's it, guys. We're going to have lunch. I had lunch. Done. Done. <laughs> so that's it. You can make your own egg rolls. Mm -hmm. Easy to do. Easy, easy. Simple ingredients. Especially with the freeze-dried stuff. Exactly. You can make them however you want. I really actually was going to put mushrooms in it, but... I'm glad you didn't. He talked me out of it, so... <laughs> make a standard first. Mm -hmm. Then you can... Then go nuts. Then go nuts, right. I'm already nuts, so... Sure. Mm -hmm. All right, hugs and kisses, folks. Have See a great day. Bye. Bye.